On the E85 file, generally you guys say E60 to E85 is fine. In theory, will pure 85% ethanol produce more power and make less corrections than the E60? So is I mean, E85 going to be better than E60? In, in theory, it will have a higher octane, or it does have a, you know, a, a higher octane. Um, we generally will map these so that they are, you know, it, when we say it can work on E60, it'll work on E60. Um, there's not really a, you know, the level of octane benefit you're going to get from 60 to 85 is not something we're going to push. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's possible you might, the easy you might find an extra half a degree. Yeah, if it, yeah with, with it, it might be slightly lower corrections or whatnot, but you are going to be stressing your fuel system more. So there's also that. There's always, there's always a trade off um, yeah. going each way. So, uh, you know, if you've got headroom, we, you know, would say, yeah, E85 is the way to go. The more E, the better. If your fuel, fuel system is at its limit, which most of these are, then, you know, usually E70 is, is kind of the happy spot in the middle. Uh, yeah, where you've got some headroom, but you've got you know as much you know octane as you could want. Yeah, and, and I, I see this type of thinking all the time: is if I can optimize one variable, will it create the best result? And the best result is never by optimizing one thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's if you can show me one one thing on Earth that's the best based on one thing being optimized, I'd love to see it. It's it's always optimizing the group of variables it could be two three four things it could be hundreds but in this case there's three or four variables that you're optimizing when it comes to your octane and you're you're walking a, a tightrope between uh, your octane level and your fuel system capacity those are, those are kind of the two main things uh, there's also kind of this additional compromise that you enter in uh, you know, having to essentially blueprint your fuel exactly to E85. That, that's that's kind of that's a, a, going to be a waste of time and effort. And so, if you can kind of alleviate that, you just you just pick this up more of your life by not having to do that. But uh, like Nate said, E70 is probably the sweet spot between optimizing fuel system capacity and having sufficient octane. With that said, there's no issue with running E60. It's possible you might give up a a tiny amount of power yeah. to E70, but then E85, you're going to run into the, the potential of maxing out your fuel system, which is also something you don't want to do. So, you know, this is why I always challenge everyone when you think about creating the best result, think about outline what are all the variables that play into this? How does each variable apply to the outcomes? And then where does each, need, where do the knobs need to be turned? It's, and it's never, you know, imagine like an equalizer where you put all everything down and one of them's up. That's just not going to sound good. You know? So, and that's that's essentially what people do when they think like this. So, you want you want to kind of get everything you know where it needs to be, and be wary of those um you know the internet that are are hell bent on their opinions you know that are limited in those variables or may not have all of the facts. Well, this is this is there's no general consensus that that's always going to apply to every situation. I, I think generally when I see someone who's obsessing about one thing and trying to optimize to the nth degree one thing, it's immediate immediately red flag that they're wrong and there there's some kind of fallacy thinking going on. Um, but when I see people taking nuanced looks at problems and solving problems by optimizing a number of variables that all play into the outcome. Uh, that's what that's when I listen, and that's that's when I perk up, and then I want to see, you know, how have they identified those variables? How do they how have they linked those variables, a role and an outcome, and then what have they done to, to determine that they've created the best most optimal result? That's what we do here at Zero Three Four Motorsport, and all our product development is working on optimizing the group of variables that that influence the outcome.